Hello everyone, it's Kribbe Nee and welcome to the channel. We trust that everybody's having a wonderful day and that you guys are in the best of health. And today's inspirational message, I'm talking about tests. Tests, storms, trials in your life and my life. The Bible said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because if you have dressed for a fight, guess what? You're going to take more hits than what you normally would have taken because you're not dressed properly. And sometimes it just takes a mindset to be thinking strategy in your mind. Oh, I love the stories in the Bible that speaks about when David stood before Goliath and he said the battle is not mine but it's the Lord's and sometimes we try to fight ourselves and cause ourselves to be wounded and hurt real bad and then we try to blame God we got to put on God for 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 success in life storms and I was using the scripture of 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 where it said we walk by faith and not by sight. Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So why God himself provides us with external protection by limiting Satan's power, he also provides us with the tool for defeating him. How do we defeat the devil in these days that we live in? The word of God is powerful and stronger and might sharper than a two-edged sword. And if you stick with the word, you can become a mighty warrior in life tests and storms. So storms is the road test. It what vex our spirits, it what makes us want to launch out sometime or lash out on people. Because of what we're dealing with. And sometimes when you're going through tests and storms, sometimes you can't be around a lot of people. You gotta be to yourself. You gotta think and pray. And you can't be around those people that will say coulda, shoulda, woulda. Or if I was you, I would do this because that could be the wrong advice. You got to pray, get in your prayer closet, and ask God to take you through it without doubt. But trusting and believing God that it's going to be a great outcome. For God tells us, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. God specializes in things unheard of to man. So road test comes for endurance to teach us how to endure and to be excellent in our endurance. In a season of challenge because God knows we're living in some troubled times right now that I've never seen in my life and some of you could say the same thing today and my question is while you go through life storms and tests where is your focus is it on the matter is it on the problem or is it on the problem solver because it, it, it really makes a big difference when you're carrying something and you're dealing with something and you keep looking at what you can't do. When you should have a can-do spirit, for I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me, not some things, but all things. And I look at some of the things that God wants to accomplish when he allow us to go through seasons of testing and storms and trials and tribulations that for the most part, we don't understand. But there's four areas of life. There's four areas that God, he's after in, in, in this area. When you go through storms and tests, four areas. One, your integrity. He wants to see if you're going to be integral enough to get through what you're going through, to keep a right perspective. To stay the course. Number two, your character. Because character is everything. Your character is excellent. And not when people are watching you, but when people are not watching you. It is your character that he's trying to build. God is the greatest and best character builders I ever heard and ever seen in my life. And he's still working on me. Number three, 
your availability. How available you are to be what God is calling you to be. Are you checked in or are you checked out? That is the question. And number four, your obedience. And God sends tests and storms and trials to bring out the integrity that he's looking for in your life, to bring out the character that he's looking for in your life, to bring out your availability and make sure that you're available and that you are obedient. Look at Job. God knew that Job would stand the test of times. And he said, though you slay me, yet still I will trust you. Even when his wife told him to curse God and die, he was in the, the city dump with stores and his friends were giving him bad advice. But his integrity made him come back and say, but for God I live and for God I die. Bless be the name of the Lord. That's what you call a good character. You know you can, how you can tell a person they really got spiritual stamina? It is when they move with the instructions from God without delay and not question. And that's what God wants to get us now. And it's, and it's just more to it than this. It's, it's, it's just Apostle Paul, Samson, David, so many characters in the Bible that really had to be tested tried in the fire even the lord jesus christ was tested in the wilderness 40 days and 40 nights and but he told the devil satan get thee behind me and that's what we need to tell the devil when he comes your way and try to take you out and knock you down off of your place of righteousness said devil get thee behind me get up underneath my feet because god sent me God's going to keep me and he's going to watch over me. So listen, tests, trials, and storms are not here to take you out, but they come to bring you out. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this word and we pray, God, that you'll show us during seasons of uncertainty that we can yet rely on the infallible word of God to get us through what we're going through. We thank you in advance for what you're about to do for us. Even now, in spite of what it looks like, give us a look up and live and know that our redemption draweth nigh. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life was meant to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, the notification, and thumbs up. And we'll see you on our next video. And may God keep you in the winter circle. Peace. God bless you.